So um, going over this example, the main important thing, guys, the first thing we're going to want to do is identify, identify what D is going to be. So remember D, the best way to identify D was to simply subtract A2 minus A1. Now remember, A1 is your first term in your sequence. A2 is your second term. A3 would be your third, and so on. Now, remember, the difference has to be the same for all of them. So, but we don't have to subtract every single term from every single term to find a common difference. Let's just do a2 minus a1. So that becomes d equals negative 14 minus negative 19. Again, we have a minus a negative. So that becomes positive. a2 is negative 14. a1 is negative 19. You, we subtract a2 from a1. That was in my definition. OK? But we didn't do it with the Yes, we did. Well, because the first one was kind of obvious. You could see the first problem that we did. You, it was obvious that the difference was 2. Well, maybe it is. But what if I give you a problem that's not obvious? Then you're going to want to follow this technique. OK? So d equals negative 14 plus 19 is going to be a positive 5. So our d is going to equal 5. See none, please. Now, all I'm simply going to do is add the information in that I have. Now, we're trying to find the 40th term, so that's going to be a to the 40th. a to the 1 is negative 19, plus n, again, is the same thing as your 40. So that's going to be 40 minus 1 times d, which is 5. So therefore, I have a to the 40th equals negative 19 times oops, negative 19 plus 39 times 5. Then I need to do 39 times 5, which is? 195. So I have a to the 40 minus equals negative 19 plus 195. And then you simply subtract and you get uh -oh, positive 176. We have some students that are learning. Uh oh. <laughs> 